Good evening, guests, friends, family, staff, and of course, our artists. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land in which we meet and wherever you are today. And I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. And I'd also like to acknowledge everyone who's joined us here today. So it's with enormous pleasure that we open tonight's event at the Chisholm After Dark Virtual End of Year Exhibition. Our art and design department traditionally hosts an end of year exhibition, awards presentation and celebration event. And whilst we're disappointed that this year we can't do it in person, our dedicated team were determined to make sure the event still went ahead, albeit virtually. As always, I'm in awe of the creativity of our staff in coming up with ideas and turning these ideas into reality with lots of hard work. And I'm sure you two will be equally impressed with the exhibition we open this evening. Special thanks to James Sainsbury, our amazing technician, and Craig McDonald for the late night preparation and testing to make sure that this was possible. So the student groups participating in the exhibition this year have been our Certificate 4 in Visual Arts, our Certificate 4 in Design, Diploma of Visual Arts, Certificate 4 in Photography, Diploma of Illustration, and of course our VET DSS courses in Visual Art, Screen and Media, Graphic Design and Photography. These wonderful artists have blossomed under the teaching of Phil, Liz, Kelly, Craig, David, Shane, Troy, Ian, Margaret, Janet, Belinda, Colleen, Carolyn, Robert and Fran. Teaching in lockdown is particularly challenging and these amazing teachers haven't wavered once at that challenge. And week after week, they've had to reconceptualize their delivery to ensure that they keep their students um, connected and engaged. And I know how meaningful these classes were for our students. And I'm confident that I speak for both students and families in Chisholm when I say thank you. To Michelle, who has stepped in to take the lead this year, you have worked tirelessly, long days, extra work, and all because you love the students and the staff in our department. You are the glue in this exhibition. You're always holding everything together in your capable hands and thank you isn't enough. So back to the show. It runs from Thursday the 9th of December to Sunday the 12th of December and can be seen here online as well as along Fletcher Road at our Frankston campus from 9pm to 11pm. To those here that might like to try to hand at this, we're enrolling now for 2022 in graphic design, visual art and photography courses. All of these courses can lead to a creative and fun career, so please have a look at the Chisholm website where you can apply or make an inquiry. We'd love to have you. Finally, I'd like to say to you, our artists, congratulations. This may be your first exhibition or your first time showing your work in a public space, and I admire you so much for that. A lot of love, effort, and all types of emotions comes in when you create art, and it takes courage to present that to the world. You can feel vulnerable, you wonder whether people will like it or will they think it's any good. And I want you to keep that courage with you that you've shown tonight and hold it close to you as you progress throughout your artist's career. Always believe in yourself. The world needs art and it needs beauty and it needs joy and you bring that, so thank you. Now, over to Phil to present the Visual Arts Awards. Thank you very much, Sue, and thank you for those lovely words. And also thank you for the fantastic job you've done uh, looking after us and uh, keeping us uh, all bound together through turbulent times and where we've, where we've had to reinvent the wheel on several occasions this year, uh, through lockdowns and but also through face-to-face -face teaching. It's been uh, an, a momentous year. And I'd also like to thank uh, Michelle Crotty, uh, the, the, uh, the other manager here who's, who's been absolutely brilliant in the way she's looked after us with compassion and looked after the students and dealt with every thing that's come up, doing 100 million things as far as I can see, every day, constantly uh, run, working right across the whole sphere. And I'd also like to thank all of my brilliant colleagues in visual arts, but also right across the, all of the courses. It's been an, quite a, an extraordinary experience this year and, and I've been very proud to be part of what is a very cohesive and extremely uh, friendly and warm team of a uh, group of people who really look out for each other and really care about their students. It's been wonderful. Before I move on to give the awards out for the visual arts area, I'd also like to thank James particularly, the new technician uh, who's been, um, who's looked after everything and kept everything running from behind the scenes and uh, been brilliant with his technical skills. Uh, and also put this ex uh, together along with Craig 
to make the projections possible, a whole new area for us uh, moving into uh, the technological era to show the students work. And I'd also like to give a special thanks to a colleague who retired finally after 30 years, Fran Victor, starting out as a student sometime in around in 1991, uh, and then moving on to become uh, a teacher, working herself as a technician and working, then becoming, becoming an essential part of the teaching staff, teaching most particularly in illustration, but also in fine arts and helping to set up the uh, creative product development, advanced diploma of creative product development, along with myself, uh, which was a very innovative course. We taught very successfully for a few years. Um, and uh, Fran was extremely um, uh, active in illustration, where she her, her skills and innovation have been have been were were uh, much much loved by her students and her much loved by her colleagues. And she, where she finally retired this year after a long and fantastic career. Fran is a brilliant artist, a brilliant teacher, and also a brilliant mother. Uh, not, not which not many of us know so well and whatever she's doing now which I know she's doing many things and will go on to continue to do many things uh, particularly our own work we wish her well she is very much missed and has uh, been uh, has made an immeasurable contribution to Chisholm and to the art department and lastly i just like to give a little nod to Building C where Fran and I talked for so long uh, and they waited till Fran left before they finally knocked it down to make way for the modern uh, art school uh, building, which we will have a floor of going forward and which will be completed sometime in the next two or three years. And I very much look forward to that uh, as well and to the new era that is going to come out of this whole process. So uh, lastly, uh, before I just present the awards, I'd just like to acknowledge our students who have, been, the, the, who have gone through thick and thin and been challenged on every level and produced some absolutely extraordinary work and have continued to excel and to excite me. Even after all these years, I continue to see brilliant work being made, highly individual, uh, creative um, um, students from all walks of life and all ages uh, being able to express their imaginations so clearly and so um, beautifully with the work that they're making. Uh, and it is something is so much needed in this time that we're living in to see this wonderful work and these uh, emerging artists as they move through making the things they make and producing the work that they do for all of us. I'd like to be able to give every single one of them some kind of award, but unfortunately that's not possible. So I will start the awards by talking about the Diploma of Visual Arts, the Illustration Awards going from the Encouragement Award, which is a uh, voucher from Metropolis Books. Thank you very much, Metropolis Books, uh, for $50 and it goes to Natasha Brockersley. Uh, the $100 voucher from Melbourne Art Supplies goes to Soraya Lucas, thank you Melbourne Art Supplies. And Amanda Nelson is the um, most exceptional illustration student of the year, is, uh, has a year's, uh, um, for years uh, support from Illustrators Australia subscription, which has a multitude of facets. Congratulations to all of those students. In the fine arts area, uh, the encouragement materials pack goes to Darcy McLaren, uh, congratulations, Darcy. Uh, it's the Seniors Art Supplies $100 voucher goes to Sam Harris. A fantastic effort from Sam. And Oak Hill Gallery in Mornington continues to support us incredibly generously by giving each a student every year a residence, studio residency and an exhibition, as well as uh, use of the printmaking facilities. And this year that goes to Talia Morris, which is a brilliant prize. And thank you, Oak Hill. Well done, Talia. Certificate four, the encouragement a pack of materials goes to Salam Gifford. Thank you. Uh, uh, and the Melbourne Etching Supplies $100 voucher or materials goes to Zoe Plebin. And the most outstanding student award goes to Max Sparkman. And that is a senior art supplies uh, voucher for $100 as well. Congratulations to all of those students. And lastly, the VETIS, which is Vocational Education and Training in Schools, 
uh, which we have a very large cohort of students, uh, which we teach here. Uh, two encouragement packs from Chisholm, which go to Emily Van Orsen and Amelia Roberts. Congratulations and well done to all and each and all, every one of those award winners and each and every one of those students. It's now my great privilege to pass over to, to Kelly, who's going to talk about photography. Beautifully spoken, Phil. Thank you very much. Um, hello, everyone. Firstly, I'd like to say a huge congratulations to all Certificate 4 students this year. Um, it's been a very difficult year, but I have been really amazed by the amount of work and effort that every student has put into their photography studies. Um, by creating home studios, booking portrait shoots in between lockdowns, and all producing very high quality photographs for their end of year portfolios. So well done to everyone. Um, but of course, this has made the decision for choosing students for awards this year extremely hard. But with a team of creatives from the art and design department, we have uh, been able to select three students. Um, with very big thanks to CPL Digital and Van Bar Imaging for being such generous sponsors and great industry connections for us. Um, our 2021 awards are. So for most outstanding student this year has been awarded to Kelly Matapo. So congratulations, Kelly. Um, and for the highly commended award, it's actually shared between two students this year, which um, we have Brett Harrison, and also um, Anna Constandindidis. Um, so yeah, congratulations to everybody, um, but especially those three for putting in such huge amounts of effort um, for the entire year. So congratulations, everybody. Um, okay, so now we're throwing it over to David to present the design awards. So off to you, David. Thank you, Kelly. Hi, I'm David. I'm one of the team of designers teaching our design uh, classes and courses uh, at Chisholm. Um, and uh, I'll be presenting awards for five of our courses uh, today. Our design students have had a, a, a pretty tough year of training this year, and I commend all of them uh, for their determination and strength to reach the end of their study here at Chisholm. Um, first of all, for the Certificate Two in Printing and Graphic Arts, I'd like to uh, thank our sponsor, High Design Creative Signage, for supporting uh, this particular course. The award for most outstanding student in the Certificate Two in Printing and Graphic Arts goes to Karna McHaffey. The award for highly commended goes to Tithnita Ping. So congratulations and uh, some merchandising, I believe, from uh, uh, Adobe and also from High Design will be coming your way. The next awards are also sponsored by Adobe and we thank Adobe for the support afforded to us throughout the year, especially for granting access to Adobe Creative Cloud for our students working from home. Um, we really do appreciate this, the support that we've been getting from, from Adobe. Uh, first of all, the Certificate 3 in Design Fundamentals, Screen and Media. The award for most outstanding student goes to Larissa Shashkoff. So congratulations, Larissa. And the award for highly commended student goes to Joshua Mabrici. The award for most outstanding student for our next course, Certificate 3 in Design Fundamentals, Graphic Design, goes to Bonlissa Soff. Congratulations, Lisa, you've done a great job this year. And the award for highly commended student goes to Khan Alioglu. The next course, Certificate Four in Design, the most outstanding student there is Annabelle Cavara. And the award for highly commended student goes to Max Heinzel. So congrats to both of you. And I guess you'll be looking forward to your um, merchandise from Adobe shortly as well. The award for most outstanding student for the Diploma of Graphic Design goes to Fazana Rahimi. Good on you, Fazana. And the award for highly commended goes to Romy Bradbeer. So my, congratu my congratulations to all of you and the best wishes for the future on behalf of all of your teachers here at Chisholm Art and Design. And I'll hand the mic back to Michelle. Hi everyone, congratulations to all of our award winners. That's fantastic. As part of our Chisholm Art and Design community, we're so proud of you. We celebrate your successes now and into the future. We know that each and every one of you will make your mark in the world. We see that. We're proud of all of our students, not just the award winners, our students who showed up to Zoom classes, the studios and the Mac labs who did the work 
even in the most difficult of circumstances. Those of you who have made the decision to take a break and study until next year, you've made the best decision for you and we're really looking forward to having you back on campus. The students who've decided to have a break in their creative journey, we're looking forward to seeing you too. We're proud of you, you're part of our community. Thank you to our award sponsors. You're also part of our Chisholm Art and Design community. In supporting our students, you're supporting our industries, which is what TAFE is really all about. And we're deeply grateful. If our students are an alumni, are the soul of our Chisholm Art and Design community, our educators and staff are really the beating heart. Without you, we simply wouldn't be. There are many words that have been used to describe the last two years. Difficult, challenging, awful, horrible. Our educators have cut through all those difficulties, all the challenges with the students' experience and outcome as their compass. You're always our guide and have demonstrated a resilience, a tenacity and a creativity that for me has really been breathtaking to see. They keep turning up. They keep turning up for you despite their own personal challenges as everyone has had in the last two years. Thanks just doesn't seem to cover it. I know there's been a lot of thanks in all of these speeches, but I don't think we can thank them enough. So a big, big thanks to all of our educators. Um, Phil, Kelly, Troy, Ian, Carolyn, Craig, Colleen, David, Liz, Jasmine, Margaret, Robert and Shane, you are stars, thank you. And yet again, thanks aren't enough, thanks to James, our technician, who I know that you're always all familiar with, as he seems to be in all places at once, appearing out of nowhere to fix, troubleshoot, mend and organise. We couldn't have done 2021 without you, James. Thank you. Extra gratitude to you and Craig McDonald for the blood, sweat and tears that I know has gone into making this projection happen. Also sending heartfelt gratitude to another special Chisholm and Art Design community member, our interim manager for 2021, Sue Wyatt. Sue, you stepped in and went above and beyond to support us in art and design just when we needed it most. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lastly, but of course not leastly, Chisholm Art Design would like to thank two special people who moved on from our department in 2021 into the next chapter of their lives. Rachel Hunter, our manager, with laughter, empathy and gritty determination, you moved our department into the best direction it could possibly go. Our staff and students will continue to benefit from your legacy for a very long time. Thank you. Fran Victor, I think Phil covered at all, but I couldn't let it go by without saying thank you to her as well. It's very difficult to sum up the impact of her presence and work in our department over the years. We miss you and thank you from the bottom of our heart. And I think that's enough of speeches. On that note, and without further ado, James is switching on the projection exhibition right now. Come down over the next few evenings to Fletcher Road to see the works projected on the windows. The exhibition runs for four evenings. We can't say that enough either from tonight, uh, from nine to 11, don't miss it, don't miss it. This is not goodbye. Head on over to our Chisholm Creative Industries Instagram page now for live streaming images. Congratulations all and happy and safe holidays.